All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, my Pop here, and today I'm going to teach you how to texture yeah. for um, Patreon users. You know, think, think of to all the people who bought Patreon. I appreciate it. So let's get into it. This is not going to be edited on sale, so you can get the full thing. All right, so first thing is when you Get into Blender, make sure you have Blender. And any version will work except like the very old Blender 2.9 and up. So I'm just gonna start with a cube and I'm going to go to my other model, White Snake, and show you how I touch on it. So, first thing is when you join in, get a cube, there will be a camera and a light. Delete both of them. Get this cube hit tab to go into edit mode i'm gonna show you the simple way right now hit u smart uv project island margin hit that go up three times hit ok and then you can go into uv editing the uv editing looks good so you're gonna go into texture pane and this is where you do basically everything now you see it's pink this is pink, you need to add a texture base color right here, hit this add button and then hit base color and then you choose a color rather whatever color you want or you can copy the hex right here and paste it in here but I'm just going to choose a color alright so now you have the, the uh, color of the cube can change the mat cap or make it flat. I normally do flat if I'm doing anime stuff. And then I'll add a cavity to make sure I'm doing it. I'm making the shadows for this. Alright, so scroll down here. If this is not drop down, hit brush setting and it will drop down. Color palette, hit color palette. And that's basically it. Also, I'm on a tablet, so I'm going to show you later how to do it with the mouse. Now, you want to make sure your blend is on the radius. Since I'm on the tablet, I'm going to hit the pin pressure and the string. I'm going to turn it on this brush, these brushes. And make sure the strength is on that. Now, how to get to painting. You want to go over here to the color picker. Hit a color, hit a color, any color will do. Now, if you want to save that color, you can hit new right here and then hit the plus button to add that color. Now, if you do many other colors, you just click that color again and go right back to it. Now, you can either texture over here or in this viewport right here, or you can texture on the actual object. I normally texture on the actual object because it it just feels better, but you can still texture over here, but it'll be much harder. Now, basically, you can just draw anything since it's pin pressure, it's going to have that, um, you know, just goes off at the end. So, you can just draw anything here, like, it doesn't matter. That's all that you right there. Also, each time you update the mesh, you don't need to update the UV map. But if you do want to see the texture in the viewport display, hit the drop down and then hit texture, the color, hit texture, and then you'll see it in the viewport display. Now, next thing is these settings right here um, paint brushes on both of them. On radius and spring, it, will, it won't have the pin pressure, it will just be a flat circle color. And also, if you get real close, it gets less blurred. So, like, for example, let me go like here. It gets less blurred. As you can see, this one is much blurry than this. Much more blurry. But on this, on the pin pressure, it's normally not that blurry, especially if you do that. So, 
that's basically it. So you touch your painting with the tablet. Now I'm going to show you how to touch your paint with the mouse. Like basically right now. So you're going to need different settings for a mouse since you don't have pin brush. Right? You want to change your radius. You want to have it a small radius. So seven is probably good. Like that. And then you want your strings to still all the way. But now, you want to go to cursor, not cursor. You want to go to stroke, and then hit stabilize stroke. And that's basically it. These are the same. And then this would just make your stroke feel way better, like if you are on a tablet. So it makes your, will make your painting look much better, because Instead of this, it's more janky. But stabilized stroke makes it smoother, makes your stuff smoother. Now, the pin pressure is still not there, so you're gonna need to do two things: draw the color, right? You can either go on smudge tool, make the strength you know, like, not that much, like 0.3. And then just smear it out. And then that's how you get a little kind of pin pressure type stroke. Now the second way is you can get your pin, hit the color, and then hit the eyedropper, and then choose this color. Hit it, and then hit the plus button to have that in your color palette. Now you can just just basically go over that stroke and then make it sharper. Wow. You make sure your um, strength is all the way up to one. So basically, you can just and then erase all this other stuff. You can turn off stabilized stroke image. So like that. I would suggest doing it the smear tool. I will say that's the best way. But now I'm about to go into the tool. So so the first tool, you got your brush tool, and that's basically where I went over. The soften tool, it just makes your stroke blurry and it can give a good effect for like shading and stuff. Your smear tool I already went over this, it smears it. But you need to make your stamp down because you smear it a lot. So all on one. Stamp, I mean clone. I don't normally use this tool, so I can't really tell you what it's about. Um, feel tool, I don't really use this one, but I assume you just feel the whole color like this. But it will only work in like this way. Like, it hot, it doesn't take these more. So. Mask tool, I don't use this. Basically, I'm pretty sure. Um, make sure you don't draw in a certain area. But I don't really use that because I don't know. I think I'm going to use this one. Now, I'm going to go to my white snake model and show you how I um, model that. I mean, touch it. So here's the white snake. I will texture the helmet first. So you want to apply all your modifiers. Apply, apply, apply. Now hit A to select everything. Hit U to mark UV project. Hit the island margin up three times. And then go and texture paint. Go out of the at edit mode and then go into texture painting. Now you can see the pink color. You just want to get the color that you have right here. Copy that. Go to texture paint. Hit add base color, color, and then um, paste the hex color. And then hit apply. You mainly want to use, if you're on flat mode, you want to use cavity so you can get rid of shadows. Now, use 
this tool, which is this palette, the dark palette, the main palette, it's going to be the dark palette. I'm doing this with a tablet, by the way. Color palette, new, and add it. Now, I'm going to go import and then go on that um, texture. Now you're gonna look at the mesh and then just draw with now the this is not the best way to texture paint, so you're going to see pixelation sometimes. And even sometimes with the better way to uh, unwrap, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see pixelation, but it will still look good at the end. So I'm just gonna um, texture this all in. So basically, just go over with these strokes, look at the um, picture again, and then see where the stuff is supposed to go. So, like this. Just keep on adding these black ones. Also, I forgot to turn this mode. Maybe just keep on coloring. Keep on looking at the rest. Keep on coloring. Now this is probably not going to be the finished project, but I'm just giving you an example on how you can do it. Like that. Turn off cavity now. If you got like an idea of how it's supposed to look. Basically. Like that, I'm going to texture the torso, do the same exact thing, copy the black color, add the color palette, and then add the black line. Oh yeah, also my brush is on overlay, so I need to that. texture those black lines. Normally since I've seen this a lot of, a lot of times in models. I don't really need to look at the reference. But it's still good to look at the reference. But right now it's a tutorial so I don't really need to get look as good as possible. This group says luminous possible. Add these little lines right here for the anime style texture. Like so, add a big, big chunky line right here. Now, with a mouse, this part will be hard, and you will need your finger. So I would suggest saving up for a tablet or a dining table. Probably the best way. And you don't need one of those canvas tablets. You just get one of those cheap tablets. It still works. I used to start off with that, so it's not going to kill smooth as possible. Look at reference again. Oh, a little line right there. 
And you don't need to touch your what's under here since it's covered up. So you can go over here. Texture all this. Curves are private. Are really hard, so you just want to keep on hitting Control G and make sure you get that curve right. Keep on practicing and you'll get better. I was really fast at this, you know. I'm pretty good at it, if I say so. So. Now you can add highlights, lines, these little lines right here. And it looks cool when you finally download it. So that's basically it. This may get posted on YouTube, but most likely it will be only for Patreon on YouTube. Um thank you for watching and if you have any questions, DM me on my Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And.